assured that it was a young man's game that old men could play and I found there was more skill in the game than I first thought. So here I am 35 years later uh, still trying to master the game. About three years ago I realised that uh, Numbers of bowlers were dropping throughout the state. Uh, bowling clubs were going broke and uh, folding up. And uh, I had a long think about it and I thought, well, maybe it's the fact that <coughs> uh, the younger people today uh, uh, do not like the, uh, the cream uniforms that we wear and that type of thing. So we thought we would try and bring bowls into the 21st century. And one Sunday morning, we, uh, with a few of my colleagues, we dressed in mufti and uh, we started to play on the, on the green and it was within 10 minutes there were people coming down off the walking track and asking the very question that I'd asked 35 years ago. I thought this was an old man's game and I thought you had to play it in dreams. Someone will show you what it's all We started to uh, get people ringing up to uh, come down and in groups of, holiday, of uh, birthday groups and uh, corporate groups. But the way we really look at it is that over the past uh, 12 months we've put through just on uh, 5,000. New bowlers what a in great groups, try. and uh, we feel that this is introducing another 5,000 young people to the game of bowls. I've, uh, as I said, I've been bowling for a long time, about 35 years. I've won six club championship singles, pairs, and good heavens knows what. Uh, and I've got a lot of uh, joy and satisfaction out of the game of bowls. And I thought that uh, it was then time to put a little bit back into the sport. So. Believe you me as a coach, that gives you a great deal of satisfaction. Come bowling, come join the club. Someone will show you what it's all about. Someone will show you what it's all about. 